Hi guys, welcome back to America in Victoria 3. Yes, I'm not going so aggressive in this one, but we shall see, we shall see. Um, last time we did quite well, we, uh, we we triggered the Civil War. They just gave in straight away because Britain joined our side. Thank you Britain for that. Um, but we are going for multiculturalism and we are starting the reconstruction. Now, having a look at it, I believe the reconstruction... We have to complete these three options here. So readmit the secessionist states. Currently 35 out of 49 fulfill this requirement. At least one of these state is not a Dixie homeland. And if it is a Dixie homeland, fraction of loyalists in all pops is not less than 0.2. So we need to get our loyalists up. The way we're going to do that is by getting our economy on the rise again. Making sure that these people have a decent standard of living. And then equality for all, which we are going to get, uh, definitely. Afro-American culture is not uh, discriminated against because we are enacting multiculturalism. Now, we are at the point now where we can um, start taking uh, these states from Mexico. So, we're going to have a look. And no one else is in this anymore. No big nations. So, I'm hoping they don't back down this time. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see. So, I'm going to add war goals. Conquer Mexican Texas, of course. I can't believe Texas is still uh, by itself out there. We've got New Mexico, which we've already gone for. Arizona, possibly, if you would like. Uh, it doesn't want to give us Arizona. Sonora was one. Chihuahua was another. Chihuahua. So we got Chihuahua, Sonora, New Mexico, Mexican Texas. We'll go for Rio Grande as well. Uh, Rio Grande. And then we'll also go for... So we've got Rio Grande. There are some down here that have gold mines. And gold mines are very good, as they should be. Zacatas does. Durango, no. Bajo, Bajo does. Bajo. Mexico doesn't. So I think we go for Baijo and we'll also go for Veracruz. That'll be the two extra options we go for. So conquer Baijo and uh, we'll also conquer Veracruz if we've got enough. Yeah. That'll uh, take us nicely round there as well, which will be fine. Down towards Central America. Um, and we'll mobilize these boys. So defend and advance. And these guys as well. Defend and advance. I think we'll leave Daniel Mori for now. And hopefully they don't back down. That would be annoying. Please don't back down, Mexico. Fight me. <laughs> Fight me, bro. Oh, God damn, this is so annoying. This is so much problems over here. So I think we're going to have to start going with radicalizing the Afro-American pops because when we get multiculturalism, it won't matter too much anyway. They should start becoming happy because they're not discriminated against. So, yeah, make the Dixie pops happier. Make the Dixie pops happier because we need to do this. See, we were on 37 states and now it's 49 it's tough. It's tough. Really tough. How are we doing for the market access? Should be going up. Still not quite enough. So let us build a couple more ports. Okay, yes. Fantastic. That's what we wanted. God, I let that play quite quickly, didn't I? Uh, but let's uh, look for our market access. Build another one there. Another one there. And that's still building. So that should sort that one out. And then, yeah, let's uh, mobilize some con conscripts. Very good. Go for some in Alabama. Georgia. I know you were going to fight us at some point. And New York as well. North Carolina and Ohio. And that should be plenty enough troops. They have more troops, as you can see. But our troops will be better. They should be, anyway. Yeah, quite a bit better. Again, war is so simple in this game. 
Okay, they're winning that one. Canneries is unlocked. That's fine. So we're starting to get actual amounts of troops over here now. So they're starting to win a quite a few of these. Offensive one, bro. Let's have a look at our military. Let's make sure that all these guys are on the right thing. It looks like they are. Yeah, they're all they're all on the the best thing they can be. So we should be doing well, but it's going to be a little bit tougher maybe than I first thought, and I think I will mobilize you. And wait, where's our navies, bro? We've got a load. We need an admiral though. For the New England HQ. Direct. Brave. What about Explorer? Dockyard Organizer. I think you. And we'll do a, a bit of a cheeky naval invasion. Down in Veracruz. Of Daniel Mori. Although he doesn't have many troops now. It should be, uh, should be ticking upwards. What are you part of? Which HQ? Wait. Yeah, we're going to have to make the Dixies happy still. Uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. So many events that are just destroying us. Oh, God damn, bro. Why are these battles just not working out? Maybe we should go on the defense for a little bit. Oh, that single troop is not going to be enough. Why is he not getting more men? Okay, we've done that. Yeah, that goes. that's going down at the minute. We're just going to put it slightly slower. Come on, Maury. Get some more troops, bro. No, surely we should win this one. Yeah, we just need to have an equal number of troops and we win, but... Few of them, we've had a lot less troops. Come on, boys. Fight away. We've got so much more power than the opposition. Ah, here we are. Fantastic. And what I'm going to do, once he's finished his battle, in fact, Thomas Jessup. Uh, defend and advance this front. That was, was that where I said to invade? But, oh well. And then you can go around and advance all the rest of these fronts. And that should bring some of their men off this front line. Which means should, we should win. And basically by taking Mexico, it'll make their war exhaustion go up a lot. Or their war support go down a huge amount. War exhaustion, that's bloody uh, EU4. <laughs> More of this. God damn it, bro. Reconciliation. A loyal state government. As I say, the multiculturalism should help with the Afro-American pops. But we shall see. Yeah, take all this land. We've taken Mexico now. Pretty much the whole state. Once we've taken the whole state, their uh, their war exhaustion should go up a huge amount. Their, sorry, their war support. It's that war exhaustion. God damn it, bro. <laughs> Postal savings. It really should have enacted last time, though, multiculturalism. Quite annoying that it didn't. How are we doing for buildings? Yeah, we've built a few more mines. So let's have a look at our market now. Grain, okay. How are we doing for iron? Iron needs to be cheap. We need to build more artillery, it looks like. That's very appropriate for the war. So I might, in fact, do that to start with. And where do we have our arms manufactories? New York. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we'll go five more. I also want some more munition plants. Be fine if they're all in the same area. Steel mills would be good for future. So I am going to queue in some of those. Well, I'll leave them at the back. And let's find somewhere that's got a few spare troops that we haven't built in for a while. Like Illinois, maybe. Or maybe Maine. Hmm. Yeah, I think Maine. Five in Maine. And then let's go to our buildings. And let's screw off the uh, paper mills for now. Put up the ammunition plants. Put the arms factories first. That should help. That will reduce our iron, of course. 
Yeah, I don't know. Once we've won this war, we'll get a huge uptick in radicalists as well. <laughs> and then we'll have to build a load of uh, government administration so that we can incorporate these states. Uh, but that's fine. We've got plenty of time, haven't we? You can see they're already down to 26. What is this? This is Songhai versus Messina. How is our colonization going down here anyway? Um... Yeah, do you know what? I might annoy everyone else by putting some colonies down there. Also, we should colonize that. How are we doing up here in terms of the colonization? Yes. Who is this? Who are you? Oh, you're these guys. Okay, cool. If we can get into the Iron Confederacy, that would be great. Because it kind of just annoys <laughs> Hudson Bay. Some horrible border guard just to annoy them. Down here, let's get you. Advance this little front. Fill out those spaces. Yeah, we should get them to, to minus 100 pretty quickly now. They can't really do anything, unfortunately, for them. Yep. Yeah. Poor Mexico. Getting beaten on by the US once again. Redeemers. Oh, God. This is, this is so tough. I, I really don't know. Maybe I should be looking into these a bit more. We will complete equality for all. I don't think we'll do this one. If completed, Dixie remains the uh, the primary culture. I mean, I don't really care about that because we're going to enact multiculturalism. Will multiculturalism destroy this then? That would be great if it does. It's going to solve two problems at once. But come on, 66% chance. It's got to pass next time, hasn't it? Surely. Surely, surely, surely. Yeah, we're just we're just destroying Mexico. Ah, well. Poor Mexico. I should have seen that naval invasion coming. We've not had any more native wars yet for a little while. Okay, so it looks like 1,500 days down here to colonize, which is, is not great, honestly, but it's it's not too bad. Um, down here will be a lot quicker. Oh, we are just we are just tearing through the countryside. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that border go. Isn't that glorious to see? I mean, so ideally at this point, we will eventually clean up Mexico. But we're going to have to wait for our infamy to tick down. We are no, now notorious, which is not great. Hopefully no one decides to, to um, cut us down to size, but we shall see. But that has brought a lot of population into our nation, about 2 million. It's also brought gold mines. And unfortunately at the minute these populations are discriminated against. But don't you worry. When that multiculturalism passes, that will solve all our issues. Get these guys. Yeah, Radical's going to go hugely up because of Conquered Pops. Again, Cloves, massive issue. Hmm. Coal. Groceries. Paper. Wood. Glass. Clippers, again. Could do with some more clippers. Are we good for artillery now? It looks like we are. We're building arms manufactories. Let's have a see at how we're set up with those. We're already on steel tools. Fantastic. We might have a bit of a lack of steel, honestly. I could go for the reinforced wooden ships, but not yet. Prioritize military shipbuilding. That will be great. So the arms in the industry, yes, we will build cannons. We want more artillery. Um, and that's fine. Urban centers. So this is a problem. Now we've taken over new land. Go for the dye workshops. Craftsman sewing. Hmm. We don't have silk, so that's going to be a problem. So, potentially not. Let's go for everyone on the carinet canneries. Pot stills to make liquor. I, I don't think so. I think we're fine. Um, I will go for the luxury furniture to get a bit more as well. Could also go for some ceramic ceramics to make some more porcelain. I think that's fine. And we'll go for crystal glass. Yeah, cool. I think we're good. LeBlanc process. Make some explosives. Definitely worth it. 
Ah, uh, more of this. More violence. More violence. The people of Louisiana have been very unhappy throughout the whole of this. Um, yeah, this is a problem now because I do want Texas. <laughs> uh, do you want to diplomatically become my, uh, my little vassal, Texas? <laughs> Looks like you don't want to, but it's fine. Um, uh, who do we want to improve with? Who's unlikely to join... Who's likely to join wars against us? I mean, the Hudson Bay Company is is likely, so we might as well use our spare over there. Uh, actually, no, because Infamy Decay is better. Yeah, that's definitely better. And in fact, we don't need to improve with Spain. More Infamy Decay, please. Russia, I will keep improving with, though. Thoughts and actions. Ooh, okay. Can't afford to take 25 authority. The intelligentsia are very happy, so... I'll uh, make them slightly more unhappy. But they're still very happy. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Building a lot. We're building the arms manufactories now, even though the war's ended. So, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. We'll leave them for now. I'm not sure about the munition, though. Munition plants. Yeah, we're fine for that. Silk is a big problem. I have an input goods shortage on silk. Can I import much silk? How much do we need as well? We need eight. So... We can get ten from Britain. Let's do that. Uh, clippers as well. Hmm. Clippers. I mean, ten isn't gonna, gonna hack it, is it, really, for clippers, I don't think? Where's our shortage? Mana Wars. Where's Clippers? Where's Clippers gone? Clippers! There you are. Yeah, 10 isn't going to hack it, so we will have to build some of those. Shell Guns. We will definitely change our uh, arms workshops to that then. Did we also inherit some construction sectors? I believe we did from Mexico. That's fine. Let's go for Smooth Bores. Makes more artillery. Takes less iron and more steel. So I'm assuming steel's going to start becoming a problem. Iron. That's why we're building the steel mills. So that'll be fine. We're doing quite well on a lot of stuff though. Did I build those clothes manufactories? When are they? So arms. We're going arms. Paper. I mean the munition and arms are really not that important now. So the ones that have not started I'm going to send to the back. I'll leave that iron one there. Paper. Maze. Coal and then textile. That's not really the order that's going to be best, is it? So let's just get the, t the textiles up there first. Also, can I build anything that, that creates silk? I don't believe so. I would need somewhere in Asia for that, wouldn't I? Yeah. We'll also queue up some shipyards uh, in Massachusetts. There's only 20,000 peasants there. So we'll queue up three. More of this. More of this. More of this violence, bro. Come on, multiculturalism. You've got to pass. You've got to pass. Surely. 65% chance, boys. How long till it till it passes? 17 days. Oh, we'll go back onto time five speed. If it doesn't pass, <laughs> that'll be so annoying. I think the next one we want to pass is Colonial Exploitation, if we haven't got that already. Yes, it has passed. Fantastic. Yeah, we did Equality for All. This one... This one is not getting done automatically by that, which is a bit annoying. Ah, <sighs> goddamn paramilitaries. Ah, oh, God. Ah, oh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. But that should hopefully mean our... Uh, yeah, we should start going down with this. Doesn't look like it too much. <laughs> so next law... Yeah, colonial exploitation. Let's go for that. It's going to annoy a couple of people, but most people will be okay. Uh, yeah, armed forces. Evangelicals and petty bourgeois are not too happy. But oh well, they don't make up much. 
the industrialists and intelligentsia have the most power, so that's what really matters. Ah, this is this is really a nightmare. We need 14 more states to. Uh, can you tell me which ones don't? Hmm. Um. Can you tell me which ones don't? That would be nice. Hopefully we get to that good point. That means basically expanding our... Oh, we'll need to sort out our authority. Basically expanding our uh, standard of living. And you can see now our economy is starting to rise. I think we'll build a few universities as well. Build three in New York? Just a little tickler there. Just a little tickler. Um, yeah. Seven more years for that. How's our infamy doing? Still notorious. It's going to take a while to tick down. How much? Yeah, minus five a year plus 21% from diplomatic mitigation. That's fine. Yeah, sort our authority out. Let's get rid of the greener grass campaign in New York. Because basically we will... Yeah, because basically we will be getting a lot of migration soon from discriminated pops around the world. We'll start getting uh, migration sort of centers or whatever they're called. This should also integrate the Indian Territory. Um, if we have a look, you can see the population, predominantly Cherokee. Yeah, that should integrate them automatically at some point. Maybe it's next month that it'll tick, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, hopefully that starts going down. And loyalists start going up. Yeah, you see you got a big boost from that. Starting to go up. Good. Ooh, it's tight though, isn't it? So now we basically just sit here, manage our economy, and colonize everywhere we can. That is predominantly what we, <laughs> what we want to be doing now. Do I have the ability to get that? No. Also need to start integrating these Mexican states. So let's let's do that. How much bureaucracy? Thirty. It's actually not that much because they don't have a huge amount of population apart from Baiho. We'll also get Wyoming. The Wild Wild West was successfully completed. Ah, the, the, the plus the plus twenty percent from um, discrimination shouldn't happen anymore because. We shouldn't have the discrimination. Not that it, it won't exist in real life, but in this uh, in this game scenario, we shouldn't get the discrimination anymore. So patent stills for food food industries, baking powder, cool. We'll go through our buildings every now and then. Oh yeah, we definitely need to make sure we're all on soil enriching farming and intensive grazing. Let's go for the uh, engine pump as well, and then. Yeah, slaughterhouses. Going to use tools. Uh, vineyards. Do we want some vineyards on our maize farms? I would like a couple. So I'll go for the ones in Missouri. And the ones in Mississippi can have vineyards. And then the ones in Pennsylvania. I've already got vineyards. And then we have some with fruit. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. Wheat farms. Yeah, we'll leave them as they are. Soil enriched farming. Make sure you got the harvesting tools. That's going to help. That's also going to reduce our tool, uh, increase our tool usage. Um, hardwood. Some have and some haven't. That's perfectly fine for me. Let's go for the sawmills as well. Fishing wharves. We can go for fishing trawlers. Let's do that. And urban buildings. Urban buildings at the minute. I think we're okay. I think we're okay because we can't get enough silk to really make too many luxury clothes. Uh, we're starting to build a lot of textile mills. Modern sewerage. They're good. Sewage. Sewerage. <laughs> Modern sewerage. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, coal. Yeah, we'll start building those up. Furniture's okay. Steel is a really big issue right now. We are starting to sort out the clothes, though. You can see 39% more expensive. Uh, oh, we have built them all now. Oh, no, that's the second page. No, we're still building the textile mills, so that should go down. 
Then, yeah, we'll keep on with this run of things. Furniture. Yeah, the steel mills are down there. We might have to get the steel mills sooner rather than later. But we shall see. We shall see. I think once all this sort of area is done, once these guys are done, we'll move on to the next one. We'll uh, put the steel mills at the top. Yep. How are we doing? 42 now. As long as the loyalists are going up, that's all that matters. And that should hopefully automatically get done. Still got six years as well to do it. Yeah, we've got a few of these different things to do. Texan. Okay, we, if we improve relations with Texas, we can ask them to become our state. So, let's do it. What are they on? Nine, minus 7. It needs to be plus 20. It's going to take a while. Uh, there's some sort of diplomatic situation going on down here. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess they uh, gave in. It looked like it was Britain, but... Yeah, you can see how quickly Britain is colonizing compared to us. However, if this uh, nation decides... I wonder whether we could harm relations with them. Um... Wait, improve relations? Damage relations? Yeah, we can't because they're decentralized. Uh, it would be great if you can do that so you can trigger them to go. Uh, Redeemer government. Okay, fine. But I hate these. <laughs> so much, so many problems. Yeah. Keep our current, keep our current policies. Censorship. People want censorship. The evangelicals and petty bourgeois want censorship. God damn it, bro. And why is the uh, Indian Territory not... Not being integrated? Huh. Interesting. Anyway. Normally, I they used to be... Once you enacted multiculturalism, straight away just integrated into the nation... Um, our legitimacy is not great, so get rid of you. Intelligentsia, industrialists and armed forces. Yeah, that's fine. What about petty bourgeois? No. Hopefully that's not affected it. Yeah, it's still 13.6%. Oh, God damn it, bro. More of these. From the ground up, a lowborn man has risen to the popular leader of the Intelligentsia. Yeah, of course. We like the Intelligentsia. They they uh, have progressive laws that we like. I'm interested to see that none of these have really uh, decided to... Decided to attack us yet. Which is great for us, honestly. Any more colonies we can do. I mean, yeah, we can, but it's not going to be worth it down there. Well, the institutions. Yeah, we're still there. So, we need to build... By the time this technology is done, which is six months... Uh, we keep going over over the top of ourselves with, with buildings, but we need to build more of these. Is there anywhere else that has bad taxes? Mm, any low taxes? No. New York is in turmoil, bro. I think we'll just build... I'm thinking... Six more in New York. And that's going to cost us some money. I also kind of fancy building a couple more construction sectors. We'll build three more in New York, but... Like, we will leave them at the back of the queue for now, just because of the cash that it's going to cost. Actually, do you know what? No, we won't. That's going to build the uh, government administrations first. That's fine. They don't take too long to build, so... No. In fact, construction centers only take three weeks, so we'll build them first. So we're making a lot of money, so we should be fine. Yes! Fantastic!
So now that should be a lot quicker. Does that mean we can go up as well if we had the bureaucracy? Not yet, but in six months. Uh, but that should be making our colonization so much quicker. Over here. It still looks like it's a very long time. <laughs> Not going to lie. Minus 90% from malaria. But maybe, just maybe, it's not ticked over yet, but we shall see. Does look like it is quicker, though. So we're up to 43 out of 54 states with the happiness. Ah, <sighs> God damn it, bro. Go away with your paramilitaries. Just go away. <laughs> yeah, we're nice and quick now on the colonization. And when this research is done... If we've got the bureaucracy, how much bureaucracy do we need? 155. So once all these are done, I'm hoping that'll provide... Yeah, total modifiers plus 450. It should be plenty. With all of these, as long as they get filled up. And we can even build five things at the same time now. Um, enlistment offices, electric telegraph. God damn you. Whatever. What are we lacking? Lead. Okay, lead. Yeah, we've got an input shortage of lead and steel. Hmm. So, yeah, lead's now a problem. Iron is okay now. God, clothes. Just so many clothes. Where's steel gone? Steel? There you are. Yeah, we've got shortage of steel and lead. So, building-wise... Uh, right, we should straight away get that done. It's only going to take 50 weeks. Next one, we could go for malaria prevention, but it takes 14 years, so probably not. I'm thinking the minus 5% bureaucracy give us a bit more bureaucracy. Or we could come over here and start building some stuff, but... Honestly, I'm not too bothered about our production stuff right now. I could go for steel frame buildings. But that's just going to cost us too much. Um, yeah, I think the taxation might be good. But, yeah, human rights. Could go for this, this line down here. More prestige. I think the bureaucracy. Let's go for that. Get us a little bit more bureaucracy. Hopefully we can get over 100 again at some point. Uh, and give us some more more stuff. Now, laws-wise, is there anything we want to do straight away? We've got public schools. A health system might be good. Um, yeah, right to assembly is fine. I could go for women. Who hates this? Evangelicals and southern planters don't like it, but trade unions and intelligentsia do. Hmm. Go for the poor laws. Southern planters will go from zero to minus five. Yeah. I don't know. No, not not right now, I don't think. Go for mercantilism. No, that upsets too many people. It's fine with that. Elected bureaucrats. Yep, that's what we want. Could go up to professional army. The intelligentsia don't like. The rural folk don't like. And the trade unions don't like. So I think we'll leave that for now. Um, home affairs. Guaranteed liberties. Could go directly to that. Yeah, it's minus 5% radicals. I think it's worth it, you know. I, I know we'll annoy the uh, armed forces and the petty bourgeois a lot. But it's got to be worth it for that less radicals. 44 states now. And we've got five years left to do it. Uh, are we incorporating any states? Because I do have free bureaucracy now. Um, sorry, state actions over here. Let's incorporate that. Can't incorporate those yet. Ah, good. Shouldn't take too long, right? Uh, 20 years, bro. It's a long time. <laughs> so we want to do it as quick as possible. Yeah, that took that down below 44 now, which is slightly annoying. 
Getting a few loyalists, still getting radicals ticking up. Population's coming up. Surprised our migration with the multiculturalism. Yeah, you can see, look, Virginia's getting 1.84k migrants. Okay, realism, that means we can change some of our buildings. But yeah, you can see we're getting immigrants, but not getting as much as we used to. Might have changed, but we're not... I don't believe we're a migration target yet. It hasn't popped up, has it? Um, urban buildings, please. The White House. What does this do? 500 bureaucrats. Cool. Trade centers. Uh, university. Here we are. Philosophy department. More innovation. Uses more paper, but that's fine. Should also go for this. I think we'll go straight to filing cabinets, though, first. Because it doesn't cost as much. But yeah, we should be getting migration targets at some point. It might be when we uh, start to... Get a few more... The Rippers at large as well. God damn it. Uh, when we've sorted out our reconstruction. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing... Like, it's the same event, just slightly worse if you get reconstruction. We've still got five more years to wait. How's our infamy doing? We're still infamous. That's fine. It was definitely worth taking these uh, these places. That's going to be a lot of population going into us. Bye, ho. Yeah, we're still improving with Texas, which is fantastic. Also get these uh, fantastic gold mines. Which will be great. Some lovely gold mines. Fantastic. God damn it. How many events of these do you get, bro? You get so many. <laughs> well, guys, I think we're going to leave it there for today. So please like, please subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please, and, um, yeah, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.